So we're next going to talk about bath safety. Now bath time can be such a precious time with your child. It can be full of love and interaction with your child, but it also can be fraught with danger. So let's talk a little bit about how to keep your baby safe during bath time. A couple of things about bath time. Remember, if you have hot water that's just come out of a faucet, that faucet is going to be hot. So remember when you put water in the tub that you're going to put a child in, it's cold first and last. Turn on the cold first, get a little cold water running, then you can add the hot water to it, but then always end with cold. Then there's no risk that your child, if they inadvertently touch that faucet, will burn themselves. A couple of the things you can do is don't ever put a child in the water unless you touch the water with your hand first. If it's hot to you, it's definitely hot to your baby. You want to, one way to prevent burning, inadvertent burning from, of your child is to go outside or go wherever your water heater happens to be and turn it down. People often trying to save money will actually turn the heater up, turn the water mm -hmm. heater up to a high temperature, and that can hurt your child. And Maureen's going to tell you a little more detail about that. But just go out and turn the water mm -hmm. temperature down to 120 degrees. That way your risk of burning your child, even if they inadvertently just get pure hot water, is much less. Now when you put your child in the tub, turn them so that they're facing away from the faucet. They're facing the back of the tub and you can put toys to play with back there. You just don't want them getting at that faucet where they can either hit their heads or touch something that might be hot. And never, ever leave a child in a tub alone. Right. Never. Always be there with the child. Never leave a child in the tub alone. And check the water. They get a little goose bumpy, it might be a little cold. You can add some warm, but if you do, again, always end with cold. Cold first and last. Right. And they have those little seats. There's plastic seats that go in the bathtub. And I think a lot of parents think that they're fairly safe, that the kid won't tip over, they but the baby slide actually out slide out or, or potentially it. tip it over. So even though they're in these nice little seats, which is great because your child doesn't move around a lot, never ever leave them alone. It's yeah. not a safe Children measure. plus water, there has to be an adult. Exactly. So Diane brought up the point about the temperature. And one thing is important is really keeping the temperature down on your water heater. If a water heater is kept at about 120 degrees, it takes about four minutes before a child will actually receive a burn or get scalded by that water. But if the water heater temperature is brought up to, let's say, 140 or 150 degrees, it takes just seconds. So for the child to get burned. So again, keep the water temperature of your water heater down and you're less likely to run a risk of burning your child accidentally just right. with the so hot water. Right, so if it's water. at 150 degrees, theoretically just starting to lower your child into the water, just those feet few hitting seconds. the water for right. two seconds is all it's gonna take to get a burn. Right. It's just not necessary. And if you're renting an apartment or renting a home, go yourself and check and see what the temperature right. is set at for your particular building or for, work, for the home where you live and get right. them to turn it down to 120 mm -hmm. degrees. It's just safer for your child.